Welcome to the new Lyric X. In part one, we're going to talk about the user interface. First of all, we've modernized it. And we've introduced the docking pane infrastructure. And so what does that mean? Well, you as a user can take the panes or the, the user interface and move the panes around and dock them wherever you want. So for instance, if I was going to take, let's say, the playlist, and I wanted to move that I just take this and drag it and move it to where I want. So let's say I wanted it down at the bottom of my scene graph. Or if I wanted it to the right of the scene graph, I would drop it there. Now in my case, I really don't need it. This is my design workspace, so I'm just going to drop it down here. Now, once you're happy with all of these panes, you can actually go and save these workspaces. Now I have one set for design and play out. So if I click mine to play out, you can see that now I have my template update always open. So when I call up a scene, I have access to it right away. The console is open, my scene tree, then my play out panel. But let's go back to my design one and continue on with the user interface. So first of all, you can see that we have a brand new timeline. Now I'm going to get into detail a lot more with the timeline a little bit later on in some of the next tutorials. But you can see that I can squeeze and expand very easily. Now I'm going to go to my browser and just drag this file in. There's a couple ways of adding a keyframe. First of all, I can come down here and just clicking this little button here will add a keyframe. Or I can simply move it like I did before and it automatically adds a keyframe. So either way works. And you can see that I can lasso both of those keyframes and move them around together. So a brand new timeline that we'll get into a lot detail, a lot more detail a little bit later. Now we've added the other uh, a general tab and a general tab that we'll get into in the next tutorial as well. The transform tab is similar, but we've added the opacity to the transform tab. Surface is very similar that it was before. We've added an events tab, and we'll get into that a little bit more detail later as well. Now these panes are uh, pinned, so you can actually pin these panes and just have them slide out whenever you need them. Let's go over to the scene graph. The scene graph is uh, different as well. We've added icons to the scene graph and a filtering tool to the scene graph as well. Now there's a button at the top called Project Folder. So simply clicking on the Project Folder will open up our preferences setting to the Project Folder where we can quickly change projects. We've changed the Live button to say Live Edit. And really that's what that is. So clicking Live Edit, you can edit on an output monitor. Frame buffers are the same. We've added icons for tools such as masking and auto hide and auto space. So just simply clicking the button for auto follow will open that menu up. Now we can have that one pinned to the user interface if we want to use it all the time as well. But if we just need it a couple times, uh, we can click the icon and it opens up automatically. So that's the new modernized user interface in Lyric X, including the docking pane infrastructure.